Transnetse PLUP pa gezondheidstrein het volgens die staatsinstelling meer as 20 miljoen mense bereik sedert die projek in 1994 van stapel gestuur is. Dit is een trein waar jy onder meer jou oog kan toets, as jou kindige kan sien, een tandarts jou kan behandel en vir 5 rand jy jou voorgeskrewe medikasie kan kry. Ons was op de aardse stasie waar die trein een week lang vertoef het. In our health clinic, if we are going to prescribe medication for you, you pay a mere five rand. And if you go to our dental clinic, either we have done your scaling or, or polishing, your restoration or your tooth extraction, you only pay 10 rand. You go to our eye clinic, a pair of spectacles, if we have done the screening, the prescribed spectacles for you, a pair of spectacles, you pay 30 rand. Unfortunately, we don't offer what we call the bifocals. The bifocals, those lenses that will be having like a line in between, we don't do that. So we will offer either two pairs. It will be the distance and the reading. That on that note, we will ask for 60 rand because we are going to pay for two pairs. Die trein het een goed ingerichte oogkliniek en laboratorium waar jy die selfde dag van jou oogtoets jou bril kan kry. Hendrik Malgas is een van duisende tevrede patiënte. Dit was nogal een ondervinding geweest. Dit was een goeie ondervinding geweest. Dit is die eerste keer wat ek so iets deurgegaan het. En dit is een jong klomp mense wat weet wat hulle doen. En dit was een goeie ervaring vir my geweest. Ek het gekom um, om rede ek my... Uh, ek, is, ek, ek, ek dien die heren en die letters in die bybel is bykie klein en alles. En, En dat is baie dinge wat ek doen rondom lees en ek het graag gekom en ek is een driver. Ek het lang glas oog getoets en ek moes, ek moes kom om uh, miskien gaan die heren my sien met elkaar en dan kan ek eendag met elkaar rijden en dan het ek my brille nodig. Ek kan sê, ek ambels is een nieuwe wereld dat vir my oopgegaan het en uh, nie dat ek rarig stokblind was, maar het is baie dinge wat ek nou kan sien en baie wat ek nou kan doen en moet doen en sal doen. What makes it worth it is when you see a patient walking out of the clinic and the difference is so obvious. The person that walked in the council room is so dramatically different from the person that walks out. They walk out of the room with a sense of direction and a sense of hope. As a mens kyk na die opkomst van die mense wat na die trein toe kom, by thuisstasies is ons baie bezig dat jy kry hulle daar mense wat jy vandag gehelp is en dat hulle oor slaap langs die trein om moore betijds te wees, om, 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 om seker te maak, hulle word gehelp om goed. So this person arrived very late on this one station. You know, I, I, I learned one day that, you know, it's not everything that you will read, that you will learn. There are very minor things that you will learn in life. So this person went and then came with the security. She's complaining. You know, when this person is talking to me, I decided to just touch, you know, on the arm. But then the hands were extremely dirty. But I felt... I want to touch these hands, and I touch those hands. And then I'm looking at this lady, she's talking to me, and then I'm smiling. You know, when I'm, I'm done with that lady, she said, you know what, you are so amazing. I'm like, mommy, what's wrong? I never thought that there's somebody who can come and touch me. I never thought that there's somebody who can also touch my hand, and you are also smiling at me. But then to me, when I'm alone, it was a lesson to say, you know that these minor things that really people can appreciate, that doesn't cost you a cent, that you need to do, you need to go an extra mile with the happiness that I see from the patient, the fulfillment that I do have too. The most important thing is the happiness. You know, there's nothing that makes me happy like a patient who goes from the train with a smile. And there's nothing sad that will make me even more sad even when I'm sleeping, if a person will come and complain about the attitude of staff. That one, really, it makes me have sleepless nights. And that's what I'm trying to talk to my uh, co uh, colleagues also to say, guys, your attitude. We need to work on the attitude amongst us and also amongst the patient. That's the most important thing. You know, smiling to a person doesn't cost you even a cent. You know, the smile, you know, that touch that you give, I think it goes a very long way to the patients. Een mens verstaan waarom Pelo Peppa as die trein van hoop bekend staan. Die omvang van die project is enorm en die werk wat gedoen en dienste wat gelever word is onontbeerlik vir Zuid-Afrika, waar primaire gezondheidszorgklinieke dikwils nie hierdie dienste kan lever nie. Dankie dat jy saamgekyk het. Stuur vir ons die e-post na prontheid by actueel.tv. Ons hou baie daarvan om van jou te hoor. Jy kan ons natuurlijk ook op Facebook en Twitter kry. Tot volgende week, lekker aand.